CarX has a new update on the PTR version right now. This update includes four new free cars, plus three more cars with the Young Timers DLC, and one of the most requested features in CarX history, tune sharing. There is even more stuff in this update, but we will be taking a look at some of the new cars. We have seven new cars in CarX right now with the PTR update, which is absolutely insane. The first one we have, I believe, is a Lexus GS300. I'm not entirely sure if I'm 100% correct, but I believe believe that is what this is. We also have the brand new M4. We have the GR86. We have the Yakuza, which I think is the Toyota Crown. 400Z, a BMW, potentially an 850i, I would guess here. And then the K truck, which is far superior to all of these. And obviously we all love the K truck. This is what I've done to it. Yes, I have absolutely ruined the K truck. I thought this was hilarious and you could do so much to this K truck. It's actually pretty cool to drift in. I have tried it already, but we're going to look at some of these other cars here. So this GR86, and this Z and the BMW M4 are part of a DLC that you can't actually play right now as we're on the PTR version and the DLC isn't out yet. I'm going to go and use the K truck to get some more money. You know, I haven't actually changed any of the original settings. So this is basically a standard tune. I think maybe I changed the adhesion, but this thing still drifts. I usually play Car on a wheel, but I'm playing on a controller today and it feels super easy. You can kind of just hold it and send it. This K truck looks so cool, man. Imagine slapping a K truck, putting some side pipes on it and having it as your own personal tire delivery for your drift car. This car is absolutely insane. I can't believe how cool this thing is. It handles really nicely as well, to be fair. Gearing on this is a bit messed up, so I do need to fix the gears. Just so you guys can kind of see what the K-Truck has, it's got a few body kits. It's got the KBW kit, custom bodyworks kit, which is like pretty much a stock kit where you can just kind of put things onto it. You got the R and T one, which is probably my favorite one. And then I love chucking the wheels in the back because this thing looks absolutely mental. And then you've got the street one as well. Although this actually is cooler. In my opinion, the street one is definitely X Street is 100% cooler. This one with the tires in the back, I haven't put tires on. That doesn't matter. We're going to have a look at some of these other cars. The Lexus has some pretty cool body kits. I mean, the missile body kit is some wide body kit. Crazy, to be honest. I mean, I like the kind of Porsche GT wing there. That thing looks absolutely mental. Kind of not sure it fits on this car, but that's absolutely fine by me. I mean, this one is a fairly simple, a bit more, you know, tucked away. If we got any, like, special kind of features, uh, any cool trunk options or anything, rears, I mean, there are a bunch of different options for the cars. There are a few body... What have I done? Oh, apparently, you can activate no clip inside of the main menu, which is very weird. Anyway, let's get the Yakuza and check out the body kits on this. Pretty certain this is uh, like a crown or something. Uh, let's look at the body kits. We've got the stock ones, which is obviously just plain. We've got this CBW. What the hell? That wing is huge. We've got some long boys as well there on the back. R and T kit, which is just kind of a slight kind of wide body. And then we have the X Street, which is fairly simple. There are fairly simple kits kits on this one. But let's check out the Bimmy. So we've got the 800 series BMW, I believe. Not 100% sure. Let's CBW kit. I mean, that one's kind of cool. That's actually a fairly okay CBW kit for once. I'm not really a big fan of the CBW kits. Guarantee. I thought that was some sort of Supra at first. Why did that look like some sort of Supra? I do like the pop-up lights on this. I did not know this car had those. The X Street kit as well. Man, this looks like some old ass sports car and I'm loving it. I'm not gonna lie. I actually really like this 800 series. Yeah, clean one of these. This could look so good. On to everybody's favorite one, the K truck. I mean, I've already modified this thing because it was so cool. I just couldn't couldn't help myself. The K truck for you. It kind of looks so happy on the front. I love it. CBW kit here, which is um yeah very basic to be honest. Doesn't look too different from the stock kit. The RNT kit is absolutely wild. This looks like some sort of drag machine. This would be a hilarious ricer drag machine to be honest. And then my favorite one. I mean, this is definitely ricer material here. This is the X Street kit, and this thing looks crazy. I do. I actually like the fact that if you go into, I believe it's the trunk, you can get yourself a set of tires in the back. So you can have a drift car for your drift car. 